Hi, welcome back to session four of chair yoga. Today we're going to focus on the legs and the feet. And if you've been sitting for a while, it's best maybe to stretch out the full body and refer back to session one, where I guide you through down dog. Okay, so let's get started. Come into our seated position, come away from the back of the chair and really feel into the four corners of your feet making sure that the knees are, are in line with your ankles and the backs of your hands are on your thighs and relax your fingers and your thumbs. So engaging the tummy muscles, just lifting them and lift the shoulders, breathing in and take the shoulders back and draw your shoulder blades down towards the base of your back. Breathing in, I'd like you now to gaze up towards the ceiling, breathing out. Breathing in once again as you gaze up and then slowly on the out breath I'd like you now to drop down your eyelids and then slowly bring your chin down a fraction. Breathing in and breathing out. Just allow the breath to breathe itself and just feel a nice floating sensation as you breathe in and feel the floating sensation coming over your shoulders your arms, down into the hands, and out through the fingertips. Taking another deep breath in, and just becoming aware of the breath as it guides down through the front and the back of your body, into the hips, around the pelvis, coming in now to the upper legs, the backs of your legs, into the knees, the backs of your knees, coming down now, into the shins, the calves, your ankles and your feet. So really breathe into the feet, grounding yourself, taking another deep breath in and just allowing yourself just to connect with the inner you. Breathing in and breathing out. And when you're ready, bring your head back to the center, opening up the eyes we're going to take a deep breath in, taking the arms up towards the ceiling and exhaling. Breathing in, feel that full expansion into the lungs as we take the arms up and exhale the arms down. Great, so we're going to start focusing on the hip flexors. So we're going to take up the right leg, interlace our fingers and bring the hands below the right kneecap. So take those shoulders back with a nice straight spine. We're going to breathe in and take the thigh muscle in towards the chest as we push the right heel down towards the floor. Breathing in once again, taking in a little bit further, only if you can, just go at your own pace. Breathing in, feel a nice stretch around the right hip into the hip flexor and breathing out. And then slowly releasing the leg. Let's lift up the left leg this time, interlace the fingers once again and place them below the left kneecap. So we're lifting up the thigh muscle up towards the chest as we breathe in. And as we exhale, we're pushing the left heel down towards the floor and allowing the thigh muscle to come a little bit closer to our chest. With that nice straight spine, we're taking another deep breath in and really enjoying that stretch around the left hip and into the left hip flexor. Breathing in and breathing out as we relax down the left leg. So shaking out both legs. And now we're going to come into a nice thigh hamstring stretch. So again, we're going to lift up the right leg, interlace the fingers and place the hands just at the back of the thigh, not at the back of the knee, but just below, just above the back of the knee. We're going to breathe in now and lift the leg up and with a nice soft bend in the right knee, we're going to direct the toes up towards the ceiling. And if you can straighten the leg, great. Push the heel towards the wall. If not, you can keep your knee bent. So really directing the toes up towards the ceiling, keeping a nice straight spine with shoulders back and lifting a little bit higher if you can on the next in breath and feeling that stretch in the hamstring and then slowly releasing. Releasing the leg down, shake it out, and let's do the left leg. So we're gonna take up the left leg, interlace the fingers, place it at the back of the thigh muscle, 
breathing in, we're going to direct the toes, straighten the leg if you can, taking the toes up towards the ceiling, engaging our tummy muscles, taking the shoulders back as we direct the heel down towards the floor for a nice stretch at the back of the knee and into the hamstring. Lift a little bit higher if you can, breathing in as high as you can or just go at your own pace. Breathing in and then slowly release the legs down and shake it out. Okay, so we're going to now stretch the calf muscle. So let's take the right leg out and then just come up onto the heel and direct the toes up towards the ceiling. So as you push the heel into the floor, you should be feeling a nice stretch in the right calf, a stretch into the back of the knee. And as we lift the kneecap, our thigh muscles start to contract. So we've got nice muscle contraction going on in the upper part of the leg and just breathing into the stretch of the calf muscle. So if you walk a lot or if you run, this is a great stretch. Or if you can do this under the desk at a meeting, just to stretch out the legs. Relax the leg. And we're going to do repeat on the left leg. So stretching out the left leg, lifting the toes up towards the ceiling. And we're going to push down into the heel and feel the stretch in the calf muscle. As we lift the kneecap, we're contracting our thigh muscle. So we're feeling that tension in the thigh muscle, feeling a nice stretch in the calf muscle and at the back of the knee. So breathing in, breathing out as we point those toes up higher towards the ceiling and then slowly release. So just shaking out those legs and relax. So we've got the feet to do as well. So uh, let's lift up the right leg. So our feet take us everywhere. I'm with a lot of weight on the feet all day. We're just going to interlace the fingers and place them below our right kneecap. And we're going to start rotating the ankle clockwise. So nice and slowly. So it might be a bit of clicking going on. There might be a little bit of swelling going on if we've been seated for quite some time. So let's do this for a count of three clockwise and then anti-clockwise. So just going with the breath. So you might want to close your eyes. So it's a nice relaxing movement. Release, push the heel down to the floor and we're just going to take the leg, the right leg over onto the left and just making sure that we don't place the ankle onto the leg, that we place the side of the leg. We're going to use our both hands and just rub the feet together. So get some heat into the feet. And now with the right hand, we're going to grab onto the tops of the toes and just starting to flex the foot. So we're bringing it backwards. So there might be a bit of clicking going on and forwards. And you know, all the organs in the body are actually in our feet and sometimes we get cramps there. So it's great just to bring the toes forward and back, really stretching out the foot, giving it another rub and releasing the leg down. And let's repeat on the other side. So taking up the left leg, interlacing the fingers and placing it below the left kneecap. And then we're going to cross over the, le the left leg over the right, making sure the ankle is not on the thigh. And we're just gonna warm up those feet. So with your two hands, just warm up the left foot. And then with your right hand, just grab onto the tops of the toes. So our four fingers are at the front of the foot. And we're just going to bend the foot forward and backwards. So a really nice clicking movement there. And just bringing some nice flow of blood into the feet. Just warming up those muscles. And again, just give them another little bit of a rub. And release your leg down. Shaking it out really getting the flow of oxygenated blood going around those legs if you've been sitting all day. Grounding back down into your feet, we're going to do our last but not least spinal twist. So we're going to direct ourselves over to the left hand side of the chair. We're now going to cross the right leg over the left, making sure our spine is nice and straight, shoulders are back, left palm goes to the outside of the right knee. We're going to breathe in and direct the right arm up towards the ceiling, as we rotate the arm back and place it at the base of our spine. Directing the right shoulder back as we breathe in, opening up and expanding into the lungs, breathing in 
and breathing out and then slowly bringing that chin back down releasing the right leg scooting back to the center and then back to the right side crossing the left leg over the right nice straight spine once again as we place the right hand on the outside of the left leg we're going to raise up the left arm as you point to get up towards the ceiling we're going to rotate it back feel that rotation in the shoulder as we open and expand the side of the body so for better breathing breathing in directing that left shoulder back and gaze over the left shoulder breathing in and breathing it and slowly dropping your chin directing the head back to the center uncrossing the legs and then slowly coming back to the center of your chair coming back in and focusing on your feet and really grounding into your feet namaste and well done so if you could at least take one or two exercises and use them integrate them into your daily life you will notice phenomenal benefits well done namaste